I've always loved to perform it. it. It's it just comes from my heart. Tell me again in the audience why you decided to audition this year on America's Got Talent. It's one of my dreams to perform in front of millions of people. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Let's see what she can do. She goes, go baby, go baby. She got this. Wow. She's only holding it with her head. Look at that. This is insane. This Look at is... this. Before I go to the judge, can I ask a question? If I remember right, did your dad make those props? Yes, my dad makes all my props. I'm also self-taught, so my God. everything's oh from Oh, my heart. God. You're like something out of Game of Thrones, aren't you? Exactly. <laughs> Howie, what did you think? You are going places, young lady. You can go wherever you want. I, I'd imagine you can fold yourself up, put yourself in an envelope, and mail yourself <laughs> wherever you want to go. Exact. Mel. Let me tell you, your last performance was incredible. This performance topped it. I don't know how you, you do it. I have no idea. Thank you so much. Brilliant. OK, let me go to Reba. I think actions speak louder than words. you push that button? I've never seen anything like it before. You just dazzled me. I love to be entertained, and you entertained me. Thank you. Very good. The look on your face when you saw the confetti come down was priceless. Again, you guys, you'll see Sophie in the live shows. Thanks to Miss Reba McIntyre. You know what? There's one last place. There's <laughs> another place gone for us. 
Okie dokie. Six spots left. That was a good one, Reba. Reba, they love you. All this performance, and now you're going straight through to the live show. Yeah. You don't have to sit around and wait like everybody else. It can only happen once this episode, and you got it. Yeah, I'm so excited right now. Just... <laughs> How does a person her age come up with that? Oh my God! You got the imposter! Listen, this is competitive, and I don't like to give my uh, fellow uh, mentors credit. But keep it coming. Go on. But if, if tonight was my golden buzzer, I would use it on you. I definitely Thank would. you. I think I'm going to have to agree with Howie, because that looked very well rehearsed and slick. Thank well you done. so much. Thank you. OK, so. I felt actually quite emotional, Sophie, because I'm seeing you grow as an artist and have the guts to come back and compete again against some of the best acts in the world and actually get better. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I have a feeling this might be your year. 
Thank you so much. And because timing is everything, and I don't want anyone to kerfuffle this, as Mel would say, I will give you this golden buzzer no way! right now. My dreams come alive. There's only five spots only left. Five spots. Sophie Darcy, you Thank are you so going much. straight to the AGT Fantasy League Finals. This, this is so insane. I mean, I'm like speechless right now. Uh, I don't know what to say. I want to say that you did not really actually need my golden buzzer, but you know, I push it for you because I love you and I believe in you and I think you're amazing. That was great. One more time for Sophie Darcy! or more nervous because now we're like only one step away from the live shows. A little more nervous actually, but so excited. What are you singing for us today? I'm going to be singing Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys. Oh. A crowd favorite. Well, Angelica, I wish you good luck today. Thank you. A funny too. said, you know, the first time. You remember what I said to you? Yes. What did I say to you? You said I had a good chance of winning America's Got Talent. <laughs> and Howie, yeah? I'll never forget that. Well, you know something, Angelica? I'll never forget you. And you know something? I still, I still, tonight, have not changed my mind. 
You are such a beautiful ray of light and you have an amazing voice, an amazing stage presence. I just love you. Thank you. I, I've got to be honest with you, Angelica. When you told me you were going to sing that song, I thought, oh my God, this is not a great idea. But <laughs> you know what? You nailed it, Angelica. Thank you. Chris, what did you think? I mean, I'm so I'm so blown away because you walk out and there's this like, you know, you've got these like sneakers on and you look like this adorable little child. And then you open your mouth. And it's like, how do those pipes fit in that tiny body? You are unbelievable. Thank you. I just feel like. Angelica. You are the chosen one. received that golden buzzer from Chris, and she is skipping on the Hi, hi, Angelica. Hi. Oh my gosh, it is so nice to see you again. It is so great to be here to perform for AGT The Champions. I'm Aww. so, so excited. <laughs> um, Angelica, uh, I actually think coming second on a show like ours is probably the hardest thing, particularly at your age, to deal with. And yeah, you know, tonight I really am fighting for my place here at AGT Champions, and I think this song really applies to what I'm doing here today. Good. Good. Good and luck. that makes you a champion. Woo! voice and you are this little ball of you like a firecracker and I can also see your hunger to win this competition but having said that 
I thought you would have taken this song and put your own Angelica twist on it because uh, you have the tools me. to do that. With your level where your vocals are so perfect, you can afford to take a bigger risk. Oh, man. Howie, what do you think? Well, you know, you are amongst champions. You show up and you rip the ceiling off of this theater. You really do. And you know what? That was your fight song. And if I can do anything, I'm going to help you win this fight. You are through to the finals. Let's hear it one more time for Angelica Hale. That's a champion. I'm so proud. Good Good job. Job. Welcome back. We remember you. You guys were absolutely amazing. Hi, thank you. So give us your age range of your group. Uh, the youngest of us is 11 and the oldest is 13. Oh, and tell us where you're from. Uh, we are from Ukraine. Ah. Wow. Thank you guys for coming all the way back. So can you explain a little bit of what you guys uh, do? Um, we are a dance group, but it's not just dancing. It's also lights, programming, uh, coding. Um, there's a lot that goes into this to make a whole good performance. All right. <laughs> we can't wait to see what you guys do. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. stepping it up. You did not disappoint. The creativity, the innovation was off the charts. Thank you. So good. Totally agree. You know, I was a fan of Light Balance, the adults. I even like Light Balance kids better than the regular Light too. Balance. Yeah. And it, it's really clear, you know, you always bring up, Simon, like, where do you see this going? I would go pay to see this in Vegas. I would see this at a live concert. I love you guys. Thank you. Simon. I haven't seen people your age so young 
do something so brilliant, so unique, and the level of rehearsal that must go into yes. that is quite incredible. I think you could be stars. Thank you. Uh, okay, you guys, I'm new here. I'm just a guest. I thought this was the definition of a spectacle. It was truly spectacular. It was marvelous. But there are only seven acts that can go forward. And I just wish there were some guarantee to get you guys through to the live show. If only there were one surefire way we could get you there. Oh, wait. There is! Some older people? Ah, <laughs> so initially there were 14 kids in life balance kits. But because of the situation on our country, some of them just haven't managed to come. Oh. So we asked that life balance to help us. And fortunately they volunteered and say yes! That's amazing! <laughs> Thank you. And Heidi, what do you think? I don't know if you guys could see me. I was dancing right down here with all of you because this was such a fun party and it needs to be longer. Thank you so much. Yeah. Simon, what did you think about what you just saw? Let me tell you something. It was your best performance you've ever done. Thank you. Really? By a mile? Absolutely. I mean, I cannot tell you how brilliant that was. I mean, you telling us your story on top of that makes it even more poignant, what I'm about to say, which is, if anything defines an all-star, it was that performance. Really. Thank you. Thank you. 
miss you so much. It's very important for us. You've always been one of my favorite acts that I have seen in the history of America's Got Talent. And there's such an amazing message here where you come from, at, at this point, it's arguably the darkest place in the world, and you come across the globe to bring us light. And if I can do anything, anything, on behalf of America, on behalf of AGT All-Stars, to bring you even more light than you brought us, I'd like to do that for you. I can see the stars.
de ver en el escenario de Got Talent. Te lo juro, llevamos nueve ediciones y algo así yo no lo había visto nunca. Your sister's name is Dion, right? Yeah. Because you guys are all a little bit obsessed with Celine Dion. Yeah. Just a bit. <laughs> so which Celine Dion song are you singing for us today? Well, today I'm not singing a Celine Dion song. I'm singing <laughs> How Am I Supposed to Live Without You. Ooh. Wow. I wish you the best of luck.
from our very special guest judge, Laverne. What did you think? I just want to eat you up and like take you home. You are so adorable and so cute and your voice is amazing. Thank you. You are so, so talented. Too. Thank you so much. I'm really blown away. You are so talented. Unbelievable. So adorable. I might just have to.
j'adore. Okay, what do you do? We do acrobatic and gymnastics. Right. We are not professionals. We take people, whatever, if they have skills or not, they are able to enjoy us. Okay, ah. and why did you decide to come on America's Got Talent with this act? Because this is the biggest stage in the world where I can show our skills and our talent. That's the reason. Okay. Okay, well listen, best of luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you. 
OK, let's vote. Howie. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I am collecting my breath, and I just... I need some oxygen right now. I'm, like, freaking out right now. This is so crazy that you know what I have to do! Oh, this is brave. This is bruised. This is who I'm meant to be. This is me. Welcome. Very nice to meet you. So who do we have here? We are World Taekwondo Demonstration Team. Wow, okay. And where are you all from? We are from around the world. Yeah. <laughs> but some of them from South Korea, some of them from America. Cool. So tell me, why America's Got Talent? Actually, they, uh, we are invited to perform at the Olympics. Really? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we cannot do it due to COVID. So you could say you chose us over the Olympics? Yes. That's correct. <laughs> I love that. Do you believe that you could win the competition? Yes. OK. Well, that's very <laughs> confident. I like that. No more questions. Two minutes can change your life. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, they look serious. My daughter has a black belt in Taekwondo. She really does? In this, yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Very serious. Exciting. Yeah.
high that is. But how do you get up two stories? Heidi. Heidi. What? Heidi. Sorry. Don't... I mean, it was coming all the way over here. You guys are insane. It was and so good. And there was confetti, too. It was <laughs> wow, I mean, the strength, the power. I mean, I had goosebumps. This was amazing. Howie, I have never seen anything like this in my life. The discipline that is involved, the message you have, amazing. Thank you so Thank much. You. You're welcome. Yeah. It's a big show, and I know what it takes to be able to achieve this. It was perfection to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think what you did was one of the most extraordinary things I've seen in all the years I've been on America's Got Talent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we have to go vote. All right, no, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. No. First of all, uh -oh. I got to tell you, I have never, ever seen anything like this in my life. World Taekwondo, this is not about fighting. It's about courage. It's about confidence and respect. And I respect what you guys did out here today like no one else. And you know, you were not able to make it to the Olympics and get a gold medal. But I am going to give you something golden right now.
best of luck. Thank you so much. Can I tell one word about the story which you will see? Yes, please. This is the story about a child who grew up, became famous artist, and forgot his parents. I wish nobody forget his their parents, please. Oh, wow. Okay? It's a sad story. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, wow. Universe. All the planets.
Like a small boat on the ocean, sending big waves in motion. Like how a single word can make a heart open. I might only have one match, but I can make an explosion. This is my fight song. Congratulations, a golden buzzer from Amanda! Congratulations! To send you. Well, here's the person who pressed the golden buzzer. Amanda Holden! Oh, it's just beautiful. Congratulations, that was so moving. Thank you. Thank you. Choir director Anthony White. Anthony White, nice to meet you. Tell me how this uh, choir came up. What was the idea behind it, please? Well, I've been the director of this wonderful youth group for um, a little over 21 years. Oh, wow. And uh, we're here to let the world know that we have some wonderful young people in the city of Detroit. And, yes. They all have great grades, and they're all talented. Okay, well, good luck. Let's do it.
this was your moment. Thank you. Gabrielle. Uh, first, let me ask the little, the little one who's yeah, hiding in the back. Can she step forward? Is see her. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Good. <laughs> you feel like you did a great job? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I, yes. Let me thank you, because what we all just witnessed here tonight was nothing short of absolute brilliance. Wow. You're cool. This was not expected. If oh, you know what? Wait, wait, I wait, 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 what? wait, 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 wait. I'm so sorry to interrupt you, Howie, but I have to tell you. Every young man and woman on the stage represents me and where I came from. I remember sitting out my window in Flint, Michigan, dreaming and wanting to make it and wanting to be here. And they're here. And they did so well that I have to do this. It takes is one person to believe in a young man or woman for them to reach their dreams, and you are that man, sir. Speechless. Yes! I mean, seriously, 
speechless. This was just magic. Absolute creative magic. It's one of the best things. I'm actually quite emotional. You know, that radiated more than just music and song and dance. It was emotion and passion. It was exciting. It was thrilling. And exactly what AGT All-Star needs to be. This is the, the competition of champions. And that was a championship performance. It really was. Well, you know, some choirs can be a little on the snoozy side, but not you guys. <laughs> Not you guys! Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you just mash that song up, like, and you just spat out a whole new thing, which was incredible. I tell you what, we all need a Mr. White in our lives. Yes! Yo, 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 stop! We don't need to go to the super fan vote on this one. <laughs> Mr. White, you have changed the lives of thousands of young men and women all over for what you have done for the city of Detroit. For what you have done in this world, one golden buzzer is not enough. Welcome. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Geneviève. What do you do? I'm an entertainer. I like making noise. Making noise. If you won this thing, would this change your life? Oh, my God. I'm very grateful to be here. My boyfriend and my friend are in the audience, and uh, it's a great opportunity, even if life is difficult sometimes. Um, we can achieve the impossible. Uh, if we believe in it. Do you I believe, believe you can win this? I believe. Wow. I well, believe. Ma make us believe. Good luck, young lady. Thank you. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh, what? <laughs> wow. 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 Thank you. You said you were a noisemaker, and I was like, what does that mean? Mon ami, you are more than a noisemaker. That was absolutely outstanding. Thank you. Wow. She could absolutely revolutionize the whole music industry because she did the job of like 50 people. <laughs> that was wild, no pun intended. Yes. <laughs> did any of you think you would be cheering for something what like that today? Like, let's that? be real. That was just so different and so unique. Well, what do you call that? What is your job? My job is an imitator, comic stand-up, and noisemaker. I wish one day I can do gizmo and the... Uh... <laughs> what? Uh -huh. <laughs> Magua. 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 <laughs> OMG. I was so excited to do this show because I have always had an issue with the fact that I was forced, forced, to leave Canada to go do what I wanted to do. My biggest dream is to find something that we haven't seen before. Something that will say, this is this person from Canada. This is a talent. And you know what? This is the moment that it happened for me. You made me so proud. This is the reason that I want to be on the show. You are the reason that I want to be on this show. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for the world to see you.
Wow. J'ai une question, vous vous moquez de nous <rire> C'était trop court, franchement, <rire> c'était trop court. Vous nous emmenez, vous nous faites décoller dans un voyage comme ça, et puis d'un coup, vous nous lâchez par terre. Demande-lui pourquoi elle est si émue. Pourquoi t'es si émue <rire> Parce que je suis vraiment... C'est un, un privilège pour moi d'être ici. Euh, J'ai travaillé fort. Je croyais où est-ce que je voulais m'en aller dans la vie. Et puis, euh, mais c'est en moi que je ne croyais pas. On m'a toujours dit, tu réussiras jamais. Tu ne feras jamais des grandes scènes. Et là, maintenant, je suis ici avec vous. Et euh, merci. Je vais vous dire quelque chose. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have gotten something completely different in my audition. 3% likability. That's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? Now, maybe you do shave. You're just so masculine. The minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. At 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. He, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6% is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Stan, in what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, Y'all not gonna believe this! I got Pinot Grigio! <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio! <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club! <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos Taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No. I do. I really, really do. I think magic that... Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> And I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. <laughs> Howie! I want to give a standing ovation to... Let me finish. To Howard Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. It This is. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Hug it out. They're gonna kiss on live TV. They were arguing. Oh! I think I see tongue. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh my God! You did it. Hi, Howie. They kiss on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> And now look, 
I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? <laughs> I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're going to rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always got to look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was going to rob us because I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, try, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you got to act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. Like, the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was going to be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. 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 Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you're a victorian. Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award winning actress Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Molly Cyrus. What's up? That's good. That's good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always gotta tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed, right? Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's it. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah. Take Santa Claus's laugh. Ho, ho, ho. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> 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 this is a crazy job. 
I just slide down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. <laughs> just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. They're like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't wanna get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. If somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> But the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. I love her. Howie, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Tony. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Now, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. And also, I'm, I'm translating. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> How is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's nothing. I admit it. I do admit it. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. 
but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. <laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> That is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> there was, you know, we would deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night, only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm a not. real liar, eh? The only la, thing I'm mad at la, is la, that you worked la, on Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, you would have won la, Canada's la, Got Talent. La, la, you guys are so fucking good. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. You're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> 
<laughs> he hasn't even done anything yet. Come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady. She's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up. Where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm your son. Come on. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you okay. just look? No, not at that. Are not you guys talking? No. <laughs> Trick. Magic. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Magic is the correct <laughs> word. <laughs> that is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> him, him, They're him, cheating him, 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 because him. they heard you <laughs> cheating. Yes. All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The clue. We are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Everybody. Snack 